Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am Jared Hinkey, the MLS coordinator at KAAR. I'm excited to bring you another edition of Tips and Tricks. In this edition of Tips and Tricks, I'm gonna show you some helpful features when you're adding in a listing in Flex MLS, and we'll also go over listing activity. To start out, we're gonna look at adding a listing. So we're gonna to go to the menu under the add slash change heading, I want add listing. The first convenience I'll show you, we are on the address tab now. We've already filled out the general information. And once you have in all your address information, if you don't have that pin number handy, you can just click on the populate tax data button and that will pull that pin number from CRS tax data. Once you have all the required information in on the address field, when you go to change to the main fields by either clicking up here on main fields or down here at the bottom right to next, it will have you verify the map location of your listing. If you need to change that location, you can always click on the red push pin and then drag it around the map. Or if it's off by maybe a lot, you can zoom out on the map and just click anywhere on the map that's not the red push pin, hold, and then drag that map. And now I can zoom back in and place my push pin again. The last thing that I'll highlight when we're adding in a listing is this drop down menu here on the right. And normally it shows you all fields. So those required fields in red or the optional fields as well. I can change that to required fields only. So now it's just showing me those required fields in red and I can change that to empty required fields only. So those required fields that I have yet to enter in any information for. When you are working with the all fields and you go to add a listing, if you get any errors, when you hit okay, the system will automatically change what fields you're looking at to empty required fields only to save you some time when you're trying to fill in the rest of the information and get that listing added. The next thing that we'll look at is the activity page for a listing. To find that, I'll go to the menu and then change listing. I'm gonna type in the MLS number of that listing that I want to see the activity for and click on next. Now I have my activity button up here at the top. On this listing activity page, it does give us the date range here up top. And normally the default is the listing date to present day. When we scroll down, you can see where people are viewing this listing. How do people rate this listing? Moving on down, I can see actions people took on this listing. I can see people who save this listing, what listings they've also saved and people who view this listing, what listings they have also viewed. Scrolling back up to the top, I have an option to print out this page. I can email this page to my seller, or I can set up automatic emails to be sent to my seller on either a weekly or monthly basis. That is everything that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and keep an eye out for more tips and tricks videos in the future.